Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Ayil Fazal. Hey, market analyst at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Monday, the 22nd of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and updates from market leaders and market updates from mar uh, leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the Google Play, uh, the, certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand then? Good question. Okay, so where are we? Uh, currently uh, positioned, especially with regards to all the uh, shenanigans surrounding the US government shutdown. Uh, again, that's certainly having no effect at all with the uh, uh, US market certainly screaming higher towards the late Friday and today as well, certainly remaining afloat. Asian markets again shrugging it off with regards to the Hang Seng up another 4.4%, Shanghai up another 0.4% as well. I mean, look at the uh, Shanghai index, certainly there's no let up there at all. Bullish engulfing candle for the day, certainly pushing higher to new highs, as we already know. A uh, weekly chart at the moment broke out that pivot top. You're looking at the next potential high of around 500 on the index. So, uh, Shanghai Chinese markets certainly very bullish. Asian markets, again, like I said, shrugging off weakness, although the Nikkei certainly is flat. So, again, Nikkei certainly needs to be watched carefully because that could be give you an indication of where the US equity markets are going. So, let's bring up the Nikkei. The bearish engulfing candle certainly still seems to be dominating there, especially with regards to the BOJ's uh, new potential guidance going forward. Okay, so that's the status quo there in terms of um, Asian markets, European markets, stats. Let's just quickly go over them with you as well. Uh, the market stats for European at the moment. We have the uh, FTSE up three points, DAX up eight for CAC 40 helps as well. Even though we have a stronger euro, the European markets certainly help from the perspective that Bundesbank certainly forecasting stronger goal for Germany. And also uh, Miss Merkel's potential coalition talks certainly seem to be coming into fruition and there may well be some potential agreement there. So again, political uncertainty certainly alleviated and that's helping European equities to a large extent. Uh, commodities certainly being helped as well. Um, again, they have been helped with a weaker dollar regardless, but the Saudis, latest news of Saudis as well. Again, potential uh, support for further potential supply cuts. And again, that's certainly keeping the US market, well, the, the oil market certainly uh, above water, especially the FTSE as well to a large extent. Now, the FTSE 100 has been hit, as we already know, by Carillion, also been hit by weaker consumer spending, which in turn obviously has led to potential inflation concerns as well uh, going forward. So the FTSE certainly is is weak on several fronts, okay? We also have weaker earnings as well uh, today. So again, that certainly is, is, is weighing on the index as well. I mean, if you look at the uh, FTSE earlier on today, uh, the analysis basically concluded. We had uh, gloom throughout UK households and inflation expectations spike. So again, that's a negative article. That's certainly weighing on the index at the moment. Okay, so British households turned gloomy about their finances in January as expectations about future inflation hit a near four-year high and they relied on borrowing according to a survey which underscored the strain on consu many consumers. Okay, so again, that's risk negative. Okay, uh, Longmin certainly reporting a 65% fall in profits. Again, that's certainly hurting as well. And we already know the situation with regards to Carillion, which undermines the U U UK government as well. Okay, so where are we technically speaking then? So let's see exactly where the indexes are. German DAX at the moment uh, pushing higher, again, breaking through that key resistance, along with the Euro stocks as well. If you bring up the Euro stocks here, Euro stocks certainly has been very bullish, as you can see the 10-minute chart there, certainly pushing higher as well, 60-minute chart as well, breaking higher, breaking through resistance. The next potential level of resistance on the Euro stocks at the moment now, you have a resistance up here, which is seen around the 3666 level, and the next resistance potentially you've got can fill here and then obviously you've got 3710 and 3690 as well so watch out for those two resistance zone let's see how the uh, the index holds there from that perspective so keep an eye out there in terms of the euro stocks uh, 50 as well so very impressive move there okay for the euro stocks helped by stronger european earnings as well to a large extent german dax again the next key resistance is seen around the 13525 look can we get there that's the question uh, German DAX 50 or MDAX 50 certainly very bullish, breaking out higher, as you can see, to new highs, so certainly helping the German DAX 30. In terms of the French CAC, it still is holding that double top. It did actually slightly break through. Okay, so certainly slightly breaking through here. Now the pivot top on the French CAC is seen uh, around this region here, 5536. Now let's see if we can hold that level. Do we hold or do we fold? Okay, so that's the question. Okay, so let's see. 
uh, how the French CAC plays out the uh, next move there. FTSE 100, uh, again, let's just look exactly at the index. Broken through that key resistance, that uh, 5731. The next resistance is seen here around the 7740 zone. If you break that, you're looking at 7747. Then gap fill is seen around the 7755. So watch out for that level as well. Again, like I said, FTSE index certainly is under, under some strain. If you do flush lower, then you are looking at support around the 7717 level. And then support is seen further down at 7707. So again, let's see how that materializes in the next potential move there in terms of the FTSE 100 index. Daily chart, we already know from my perspective, looking for a potential retrace down to the breakout level at 7600. Can, can that occur? That's the question, okay? In terms of the uh, French cap, we looked into that as well. Euro stock, so we've certainly covered all the indexes now. Uh, it all lies on the S&P. S&P broke through on them Friday. So again, like I said, government, US government shut down, having absolutely no effect at all on sentiment. Daily chart, again, breaking out as well, as you can see here. Now, can US equities sustain the market rally higher? That's the question. We'll see exactly how that unfolds as well later on. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus. And be sure to visit TradeSignal for signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.